Hello friends, this video on s -block elements part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. As we have seen in case of lithium ionization, lithium has a different property than the group 1 element. Similarly here also beryllium has different properties than group 1 element and it has properties uh, similar to aluminium. We have seen was for lithium and magnesium in the past videos. Now we will see the difference in, in similar in properties similarity in property between beryllium and aluminium right so beryllium is expected to have properties similar to magnesium but actually it has properties similar to aluminium and this because they have both have uh, what do you call similar size high ionization enthalpy and electronegativity and there is no valence d orbital here this is almost similar to what we have done for lithium and magnesium almost same pattern We'll, in this, we'll learn two things actually. The first thing will be difference from the alkaline earth metal, that is how beryllium is different from magnesium and other uh, alkaline earth metals. And the second is how beryllium is similar to aluminium. So we'll learn these two. Let's start with the difference from alkaline earth metal. So the first difference is, if you see the beryllium is lighter than magnesium, it's very, very light than magnesium. That is the first difference between uh, beryllium and other alkaline earth metal. The melting in point, the melting in point, the boiling point of beryllium is very very high as compared to other magnesium. The small size of beryllium this is very high as compared to other elements of the alkaline earth metal. Beryllium does not react with water even at high temperature, but magnesium reacts. This is another difference which beryllium has with other alkaline earth metals. Oxides of beryllium is amphoteric, while others are basic. If you see BOH2 is amphoteric, magnesium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide are all basic in nature. Beryllium doesn't exhibit coordination number more than four, but others exhibit more than uh, other exhibit more. Uh, I mean six, for example, calcium more than uh, four also. For example, CaF2 the coordination number is eight. Actually, each calcium is bonded to there's three dimensional structure, so I won't be able to draw, but it is also bonded to six other calcium. Calcium. So it's three dimensional structure. You will study more about these in the higher classes when you study the structure of a particular uh, uh, molecule because see CaF2 molecule as such doesn't exist, right? It's this in the crystal form where all of CaF2 molecules combine to form big crystal, right? So one chlorine uh, atom will be linked to two fluorine, but it will also be linked to other chlorine and fluorine atoms. So it will have a different structure, right? So that is the coordination number, the maximum number of um, atoms one atom is linked to, right? In a structure, actually structure. So for this uh, beryllium, it has maximum value of four, but other uh, members has more than four coordination number. Also, another difference I have is my beryllium carbide when react with water, it gives you methane, but my Magnesium carbide, when react with water, it gives you acetylene. There's a difference actually. So, if the, you want to write the whole reaction, this will be beryllium hydroxide and this will be magnesium hydroxide. Let us discuss some similarity with aluminium now for beryllium. The first similarity is both this aluminium and beryllium are not attacked by acids because of the presence of the oxide films which it uh, forms on the metals. Both beryllium and uh, aluminium are formed, they form covalent bonds. Hydroxides of both beryllium and aluminium are amphoteric. Both beryllium and uh, aluminium have high melting point. Beryllium hydroxides dissolves in the action of alkali just like aluminium. The chlorides of both beryllium and aluminium are bridge structures. We have discussed the beryllium chloride structure, aluminium chloride also has bridge structure. Both the chlorides are soluble in organic solvent and they are strong Lewis acid because it's a covalent compound, so they are uh, soluble in the organic solvent. They both have strong tendency to form complexes, beryllium and aluminium, they both have strong tendency to form complexes. And the last one is the salts of both beryllium and aluminium are extensively hydrolyzed. They can be hydrolyzed extensively, the salts of beryllium and aluminium, those are small size. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.